Hi, and welcome back to my channel. I haven't done a YouTube beauty tutorial, get ready with me style video in a long time, and I probably say that every single time I go to film a video, but it's true, I don't do them very often. If you like these types of videos, you should definitely subscribe. I will try and post more, I promise. If you just click that button down there, subscribe, maybe even go wild and click that bell so that you can see more stuff and you get updates whenever I post stuff. Is that how it works? I also apologize. The lighting is probably going to change a lot in this video because I'm using natural light and I'm sitting in front of my window, which is, I think, the most flattering lighting, but it might change dramatically throughout the filming of this. I think today's look is going to be more simple. It's going to be a strong eyebrow and a bold, dark navy blue lip. I haven't done that in a really long time. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is moisturize my face. I'm using the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. So I'm just going to work that into my skin. Now that I'm adequately moisturized, I believe, I am going to figure out what eyeshadow look I want to do. So I have the Naked palette, which I'm sure no one uses anymore. I think I got this in like 2015. It's been a long time. But it's kind of a nice palette only because it has really nice neutral shades, which you're all aware of this palette. So I'm not going to flash it at you that much, but I might just pick a color from there and just do like all over the lid, just like a neutral brown tone. And I also have the Tartlet palette, which I actually kind of hate. I love the colors, but I think it blends really, really poorly, which is a shame because I love the mirror on this palette and I love the colors and I think it's just a really sexy looking palette. But it kind of sucks. But you know what? I feel like if I'm just doing one color, it might be the way to go. So we're going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and prime with my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer, which is probably extremely expired. I assume all of my makeup is extremely expired. So that'll be fun. But nothing... Nothing catastrophic has happened. And so I'm going to take a little bit, which this is kind of a lot, so I'm going to wipe some off and prime my eyelids. How do you know when makeup expires? Like does it say on the on the packaging cuz I don't really see it anywhere. Okay, that seems relatively clean. I'm gonna take this little shading brush by Real Techniques and I'm going to take the color, hmm, I think I'm gonna take Wanderer and see how that goes and then I might use Force of Nature if I don't like it that much. So let's zoom in. Okay, here we go. Okay, well, there's already some black splotches somehow. How did that happen? So I'm already getting some weird splotches, but we're just going to try and cover that up. Hmm. What do you think happened? Do you see that? So maybe we'll do Force of Nature over top and see if that helps. And I just want to do like a really simple neutral base because my lips are going to be really dark. So I don't want to do anything too wild. Let me just bring that up. and add a little bit of force of nature. Mm. 
good enough. So I'm gonna take the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth foundation in ivory, and I'm gonna use my Real Tech, I think this is a Real Technique sponge, and I'm going to put some foundation on. I'm pretty new to the world of foundation. I mean, obviously I know how foundation works and I, I've used it before, but um, I, I wasn't regularly wearing it, so this is the first time I've really had foundation again. Got my foundation there, and I, I don't like to do like a whole lot, so I'm going to scoop that from there, and I'm going to really I really want to work on the red spots because my skin, the bottom part of my cheeks get really red for some reason. And I don't know why. Why does that happen? Honestly, if my skin were not red on the bottom areas of my cheeks, I probably would never wear foundation. But it is. So, that's okay. It's really not covering this redness. Maybe I need a better foundation for that. Maybe it needs to be like pressed in more. See what I mean? And now I'm gonna do my concealer and I also just have the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the color Fair. Um, I think that's the lightest color. I kind of wish that I had picked a color a little bit darker than this one only because I just, I kind of don't like that really like light under eye look, but we're going to try. So I'm going to take some here, I'm going to take some here, so I'm really trying to cover up this redness. It didn't even make a diff. I just have these red cheeks with a lot of foundation and concealer on them. Mm. I think I'm not going to do my under eyes because honestly I like my under eyes. I kind of like dark under eyes. I think they're cute. So I'm just going to do this. this and call it a day. When's it gonna be a trend to wear your makeup like like this? Like wear your concealer and bronzer or contour like not blended? Like I think that would be a very cool trend. I'm also gonna go ahead and put some moisture on my lips. I have the Egyptian Magic Cream which is kind of like an all-purpose Vaseline type thing, although it's not Vaseline, it's like beeswax and all these beautiful oils and I'm going to, I think, go back in with the Tartlet palette and just do a little bit like under my eye. So I'm going to take a little bit of Dreamer, which is this dark brown color and a little bit of Force of Nature and I'm just going to like lightly pat it under my eyes. That looks fine. Ooh, I'm doing everything out of order today. Um, I'm gonna take the Co Too Faced Coco Contour thing. I'm telling you, all of my makeup came out like six years ago and I just use it because I can't afford to buy new makeup all the time. But if I could, I would. Um, but other things, you know, take precedent like buying food and paying my rent, so. I'm gonna take this Sephora Multitasker brush and I'm going to take the Medium Cocoa shade and just... Now, I don't know how to contour. Oh, 
I was reading it in a different language. I have the Sephora Brow Builder. I kind of don't like it because it has this like really fat spoolie and it kind of gets everywhere. You have to have a very light hand with this. But yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see how other people use this. I, I don't really see it talked about that much. I just sort of found it and liked it at the time. They look like little caterpillars on my face, but that's what I like, so I don't know. I'm going to use the Maybelline Great Lash Mascara, mascara that everyone's been using since middle school. Um, this was probably the first mascara I've ever bought, but this is the big, very black style. I don't actually really like this mascara this, that much. I kind of bought it on a whim because I hadn't used it in a long time and I was like, I don't know, maybe it's good. Maybe it's cool. There are other mascaras I like from the drugstore better. I've been hearing really good stuff about the, like Essence brand mascaras, although I don't have an Ulta. There's no Ultas in New York, or if there are, I don't know where they are. So sometimes I really miss like suburban shopping experiences because I don't get that here and I grew up in Indiana, so I really enjoy the act of like getting in your car and hitting like every store in a strip mall at once. I shouldn't like those things because ultimately I, I, I think that it's better to support, you know, small businesses and, but there is a small part of me that really enjoys hitting Taco Bell, Michael's, Ulta, and Target all in one trip. And continue. So I have the OCC Matte Lip Tar in whatever dark color this is. I really liked OCC when they came out because they had a bunch of crazy colors that no one else had. So I would just buy it all up when at Sephora. I don't even think they sell OCC at Sephora. I don't even know if it's a brand anymore. I just have no idea. But the problem was that their dark colors would really bleed and I didn't really like the formula, but it was just like what you could get in store if you wanted like a bizarro lip color. But Kat Von D came out with this uh, lip what is it called? Matte lip stick, but it's a lip gloss. Is it just called matte lip gloss? It's not gloss. Whatever it is, this matte lip thingy um, in this color called Echo, which is a very matte dark blue. So I think I'm going to try it with that, and then maybe I'll put the lip tar on top of it, and then we'll just like see what happens. It's so weird to have such a dark lip because I haven't done it in a really long time and I feel like like my eyes are just drawn to my mouth now as I'm like watching myself in this viewfinder thing. So I have this like eyeshadow quad from Maybelline but I really like this light color and I really like to use it as a highlight so I'm just going to pat it in. It's not super even, it's a little patchy, so I think I'm gonna go with the lip tar. And I'm just gonna use my finger for that, because it kind of comes out in this weird squeeze too, which also I don't love, but. Yeah, this shit might be like really expired. But I kind of like this shade better than the uh, Kat Von D shade, but the Kat Von D definitely sits a little bit nicer. It's really goopy 
and I can see why OCC isn't a thing anymore and I don't care about it anymore and it's already sort of transferring to my teeth or like coloring my teeth a little bit but it'll make a cute selfie I'm sure and I am definitely don't think I would wear this out of the house long term just because it does like get everywhere so if you have any like really good dark lip suggestions that don't get all over your teeth and aren't goopy or weird let me know because I think this looks really nice but it's just kind of a hassle to deal with it. I hope you like this video. It's so nice to do these types of videos and it's really fun. If you like what you saw, give it a thumbs up and comment below what kinds of videos you want to see from me or if you have anything that you are dying to say to me. Otherwise, you should totally subscribe to me because I'm gonna try and put out a lot of videos. I feel like I just ate like blue raspberry candy and it's just gritting up all over my teeth, but yeah, this is probably gonna come off, but whatever. Um, so yeah, don't forget to subscribe and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye!